Here's a look at Elite's first new ship in nearly six years. The Python Mark II has a bunch of new details, and we're going to take a look at that in this video. Now, the footage you can see on the screen right here and the details we're going to discuss were sent over to me by Frontier as a part of the partner program. But by the time you watch this video, those details will have also have been shared on Frontier's new live stream, Frontier Unlocked. So straight away, we don't have a release date for the Python Mark II just yet, and the video footage here shows a work-in-progress model of the ship. We don't see it inside the ship on its cockpit at all, and what Frontier have said, they don't know yet what its internals are going to be like. They do know, however, that it's going to have six hardpoints and six utility mounts. Now, the most interesting thing about this, perhaps, and uh, largely unexpected to me in some ways, not everyone is perhaps going to be happy about this, but I'm sure a lot of people will be, the ship is primarily designed to be a PvP-focused ship. In the details sent over to me, Frontier specifically said it's designed to compete with the Mamba and the FDL. That said, Frontier were very clear to point out that this isn't the only utility that the ship will have, and that players will likely find other uses for it, but PvP is the main focus of its current design. Okay, so the footage is pretty short here, I'm going to put it on a loop for a moment. We don't get to see, unfortunately, the ship in action, but there are a whole load more details about this ship, so do stick around for that. So in terms of the PvP focus, Frontier have said that they're going to give uh, people more reasons to engage with PvP in the upcoming Power Play 2 update, and this will be a part of Update 19. As many of you may well remember, Frontier have said that Update 19 will bring a brand new and complete overhaul to Power Play, which will be Power Play version 2. So elsewhere, Frontier have discussed the ship itself, how it will handle. And they say that when you first buy the Python, uh, Python Mark II, it may have a slightly unusual feel. What that means isn't entirely clear. Is it going to have an unusual flight model? Is it going to be slow and heavy until it's specialised? Is it going to be a bit too slippy, you know, with the flight model? Who knows? There could be a lot of different factors here going in, and it's not entirely clear exactly what they mean. However, what they did say is that uh, once the ship is specialised, it's going to feel great. Sounds then that once you get hold of the Python Mark II, you're going to have to do a bit of grinding to get it up to spec. Now, on the subject of the ship's capabilities, Frontier have said that the Python Mark II does have another capability, but they also said that they're not going to reveal exactly what that uh, capability is, but that it will instead become apparent in the coming weeks and the coming months, and it's this primarily that really leads to the obvious conclusion that the Python Mark II is not going to be arriving any time soon. After all, if the new capability here that is being kept secret is only going to become apparent in the coming weeks and months, then obviously uh, this ship can't be released before that time period is up. But what could this mysterious capability be? Well, personally speaking, my speculation here is that it's somehow going to be directly related to the Power Play 2 update, and that the Python Mark II, along with perhaps a couple of other ships, are going to be released along with Update 19, or around about that time, and that they'll be usable with this new update. And if that does turn out to be the case, it could be a really good thing. It would mean, after all, that Power Play 2 contains new features that also requires new ships, and perhaps a new approach to play in. And then we get to the design of the Python Mark II itself. So, Whilst I'm going to talk about that, let's have a look at that footage again. It is a pretty sleek looking ship, isn't it? But yeah, it's very clearly a Python focused ship. Now, if I just say the inspiration and the design of the Python was very much reflective of current modern day uh, fighters and stealth planes. And to be honest here, I can see the inspiration, especially when you look for the ship from the rear. So another thing that Frontier have been talking about here is that it seems they wanted to get a little bit away from the design of the original Elite Dangerous ships, the ones that used the original wireframe code. And that makes sense, you know, after a while there's only so many designs you can go with that have a wedge-shaped or brick-shaped design. Another reason that they've pointed out for this particular redesign though is that it gives them a broader canvas, their words, to uh, use this specific ship for uh, customizations and modifications, so that would mean um, better paint jobs and uh, ship kits. And I hold nothing against them for that, obviously uh, they're going to need to monetize Elite Dangerous somehow. Again then, all these details come along with the footage you can see on the screen right here, and the last point here is that Frontier very clearly pointed out 
that this may not necessarily be the final design of the ship. It is still a work in progress. So yeah, very curious to see when the Python Mark II finally arrives in Elite Dangerous and what it will actually mean for the game. And I think it's going to be a pleasure for people to fly. And I'm especially interested to hear from, uh, well, PVPers as well as PVEers, what you think of its PVP-focused uh, design. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments section. And meanwhile, why not check out the other video on the screen right here. I'll catch you all next time.